Jim Parsons had the cutest wedding in the Tinsel Town. It's really scars to have a relationship for 15 years before the I do. He met Tuck Spivak in a blind date in 2002. It was said by the two most important ladies of their lives, Tars boss and Parsons' high school bestie. The girls thought they would be great together and set their date in a karaoke bar. Todd was a graphic designer back then. Parsons was still working on his acting resume. Parsons was never a karaoke fan, but there was something different in the air. Spivak revealed that the connection was pretty quick. They sang, cheers, I found someone that night. Despite being the most talented actor, he never spoke a word about his personal life nor his relationship. Following his first Emmys for playing Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory, he did mention Todd in his acceptance speech starting with, and most of all, I love you, mom, and some other names. The name was unnoticed by most. It was 2012 when he was officially confirmed as gay. Finally, one day working on Harvey, I did a piece with Patrick Healy for the New York Times and he just point blank asked, was working on the National Park meaningful to you as a gay man? And I was like, well yeah, yeah. And what a wonderful, I can't tell you what a wonderful thing that was. What a gift he gave me with one question. It was suddenly out there and official. I never had a coming out piece. I just didn't mention it. I took time with me to events. You never know when the topic is going to be brushed. Who knows? The actor continued. He only drew the first attention to Spivak in 2013. It was his third Emmys for Sheldon. He said, I love, oh, my favorite person on earth, Tar Spivak. Following the speech, they walked on the carpet of JLSEN for their inspiration award at the respect hours for the first time. However, Spivak reveals that they don't have any plans to tie the knots. The rumor about Parsons proposing Spivak came out in 2014. However, Jim posted a throwback in his Instagram captioning Me and Todd in 2003. Still very happy today. Not engaged. They eventually got married in 2017. It was a wonderful day for both of them as they said their lives. The wedding took place in the swanky rainbow room in New York. Jim's big band theory wife, Mine, was also among the attendees. It was a real honor to be there and to witness that. I tend not to be a real big wedding person, but this was special in a lot of ways. It was really nice to be at a Hollywood event that didn't feel Hollywood in that sense. Mine said. Jim said, it was so much more meaningful in the moment for me than I predicted, and it's been resonantly much more meaningful than for me afterwards than I ever saw coming. He said, you know, I had been an adult gay person for so long at a time where that wasn't possible, where life was fine.